Hi everyone, Sue here from 1A Auto and today we have a 2001 Ford Focus with the 2.0 dual overhead cam in the shop and I'm just going to show you how to change your plug wires. So let's do it. Cover off. So we're going to remove the plug wires. I'm going to remove the throttle cable and the cruise control cable. If you look back here, this cable is held on with this little C-clamp. It's like a C-clip, lock clip. A pair of needle nose, I'm going to grab onto that. Just pull it out. See? Place it someplace safe. And then all you gotta do is just pull this off that pulley. A little piton. Like that. And then this one simply comes off by squeezing it forward. Once you've taken it uh, the banjo style one off of the rubber bushing and under the slide clip. You're just going to grab firmly and kind of pull it up. Comes right out. Same with this one. Just grab and pull out. Now that rubber piece, the grommet, will fit through. Just wedge it through. Pull the cable right up. Now you're going to just follow your cable and undo any brackets or clips where it's attached. Get it out of your way. Now we're gonna remove the spark plug wires. That's pretty easy, just twist and pull up at the same time. These are all great times that you can take a good visual of your parts that are additional to what you're doing. When you see oil like that on your spark plug wires, they need to be replaced because what happens in there, it the petroleum of oil will break things down and it breaks this rubber down and eventually that spark is going to find its fastest way out and that's not going to be on the spark plug, it's going to be out the side of this boot and you're going to have a running condition, a misfire. So here we have our new plug wires, and it comes with a little bit of silicone gel pack. All wires, 90% of them do. So I'm just going to put a little bit at each tip where the spark plugs meet. On all four wires. And I want it to be on the contact. So. See how it's all inside the cylinder hole? We'll go with that. So shortest one, I'm going to say that's going to be the closest cylinder right here, which is cylinder four. So I'm going to pop that right down until I hear it click. The next one, this is the next shortest one. And I'm going to alter the angle of the plug wires. cylinder one. Now so we're going to come over to our coil and this one has been marked for us so that's nice. If you didn't have one that's marked then mark it on a piece of paper. Some people put a sharpie on the back of the wires here. They follow it and trace it. Place one, two, three, four. This one has been done. See how it says four here, two there. They marked it with lines. A single, single one line there. They got a lot of silicone on that end, so I don't have to add any. So here we have number four. That's the shortest one that's going to go right here. Push it down. Cylinder three is right here, and I'm going to run that wire over, click it in. Cylinder two is going to run down to the back here. And then cylinder one, I'm going to run it right up through here. Now this package came with the new plug wire clips. It's pretty important to keep your plug wires separated and not overlapping and touching. In the old days they told us that that would actually interfere with the with the spark. So I'm going to bring this underneath keep it separated. Okay. 
It makes it look clean too. Let's snap this right. So now we're going to put our cruise control and our throttle cable back on. It's actually the kick down cable. I do believe it's the shifter kick down. So that one's going to go on this notch that's right here. Lock it in. This is going to get pushed in like that. And then we have the throttle cable. Same thing, run that down. Now, see the rubber boot stuck to the actual throttle? I didn't, couldn't get that off. So I don't want to damage it. So I'm actually going to get some silicone spray. And I'm going to spray this square so I can get it to squeeze in a little bit easier. flathead screwdriver to help. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to sp spray that little grommet. Hopefully I can get this to slide snap right down on. Yep, perfect. You can see this little cable burr. He, he does need a new throttle cable. That's a good sign that needs it. But it's not here yet, so I'm just gonna show you how to take one off and put it back on. And once it gets here, I'll replace it. So here is our C, C lock. It's a little clamp-like. That's gonna go right there. Good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com, your place for DIY auto repairs, for great parts, great service, and more content.